It's not hard to find great true wireless earbuds for workouts that have a comfy but very secure fit, lots of protection against water and dust, and active noise cancellation. Jabra's Elite 7 Active, JBL's Reflect Flow Pro, and Jaybird's Vista 2, just to pick three recent models, all qualify. But with prices that start at $150 and can get as high as $300, they're not nearly as friendly to your bank account as they are to your morning runs. That makes Jabra's Elite 4 Active look really compelling, they're fully waterproof, designed to fit securely, and they even rock a few handy extras like ANC transparency mode, and customizable ECK. All for the much more reasonable price of $120. Are these the workout buds you've been waiting for? Let's find out. So, welcome to our new product review episode. If you are new in our channel then please subscribe our channel and press bell icon for notification of our new videos. Jabra's Elite line of true wireless earbuds are some of the best fitting and most comfortable we've reviewed, and the Elite 4 Active is no exception. They have an almost identical shape to the budget-priced Elite 3 and are very similar to both the Elite 7 Pro and Elite 7 Active, which is to say, they fit very well. With a selection of three sizes of silicone ear tips in the box, it shouldn't be hard to find a combination that works for you. The portion of the earbud that sits deepest in your ear is made from smooth plastic, while the portion that sits just inside your outer ear has a slightly rubberized texture. It's not as grey as the finish Jabra used on the Elite 7 Active, but it's got more texture than the Elite 3. Will they stay seated during your intense workouts? For the majority of the time, the answer is yes. The combination of their small size, ergonomic shape, textured finish, and light weight make them as secure as you can get without adding physical aids like earfins, wingtips, or ear hooks. But anything that changes the shape of your ear canal like talking, laughing, sneezing, or just grinning ear to ear because you've just beaten your personal best, could affect how the Elite 4 Active are seated and thus require an adjustment. Jabra's controls also are the stuff of legend, as far as I'm concerned. Because the company always uses physical buttons and never touch sensors, you get a delightfully tactile click when you press them. And that never leaves any doubt about whether you got it right or not. The Elite 4 Active's controls share this legacy, but they require more force to use than other Jabra models. I chalk this up to the fact that the button is concealed behind a thin rubber membrane on the outside of the earbuds, part of the reason they offer such strong IP57 protection, but the surface itself is quite small. The result is a button that, while still very accurate and tactile, requires almost twice as much effort to press as the Elite 3 or the Elite 7 Active. Still, I'll take the Elite 4 Active's physical buttons over almost any other earbud's touch controls, especially when you're trying to concentrate on your workout. Plus, like all physical buttons, you don't need bare skin or special gloves to use them, another advantage, especially in cold weather. Unlike the Elite 7 series, Jabra doesn't let you customize the Elite 4 Active's controls, but the default settings give you everything you could need, including play pause, track skip, call answer, end, microphone mute, ANC transparency, voice assistant, and volume control. You can use each earbud independently, and if you're an Android user, you even get the option of substituting the Google Assistant with Amazon Alexa. Android users also get the option of using Spotify tap instead of a voice assistant, for instant access to their Spotify premium playlists. A set of workout buds are useless if they can't give your favorite tracks the power and presence to get you motivated and moving. Here, the Elite 4 Active definitely have what it takes. They combine Jabra's well-balanced sound signature with an extra serving of bass. We're not talking rattle your fillings bass, but it's exactly what you need to feel the rhythm of your music as you pound the pavement or throw your fists at a punching bag. Whether you take your inspiration from ACDC, Kendrick Lamar, or BTS, the Elite 4 Active are more than able to keep up. I put the Elite 4 Active head-to-head -head with the Elite 7 Active, and both models were surprisingly close. As you might expect, the Elite 7 Active had a bit more detail and a wider soundstage than the Elite 4 Active, but given that neither model is aimed at critical listening, 
I don't think there's enough of a difference to recommend the Elite 7 Active over the 4 Active, at least not from a sound quality point of view. We'll discuss the other differences later. With clear high frequencies and satisfying mid-ranges, I found the default tuning work just fine with every genre of music I threw at these buds, but if it isn't quite to your liking, the Jabra Sound Plus app lets you tweak the act via a series of presets and manual options. You won't be able to alter the sound signature drastically, but there's more than enough latitude to enhance bass and treble for various listening preferences. It's worth noting that these buds do not support the AAC Bluetooth codec that Apple favors for all of its phones and tablets. You'll be using SBC on these devices instead, but they do support haptics on Android devices if yours is compatible with that codec. Flipping back and forth between an iPhone 11 and a Google Pixel 5, I could hear a slight improvement on the Pixel, but it was barely noticeable. Some active noise cancellation systems, like Apple's AirPods Pro, can magically eliminate external sounds to the point where they just vanish when you turn ANC on. The Elite 4 Active's ANC system definitely reduces some of the frequencies that make their way into your ears from outside, but it's not that cone of silence effect that Apple has achieved. But who's complaining? Especially at this price, any ANC system that helps kill off unwanted sound is a good thing. And that's exactly what you get. Switching from passive sound isolation to ANC offers a noticeable reduction of traffic, fans, background conversations, and other annoyances. The best part is that with one click of the left earbud, you can switch from ANC on to transparency mode, which brings the outside world in. Or, using the app, you can decide to use that button to switch between ANC on and off, transparency on and off, or all three modes in sequence. You can also decide how much of that external sound to include with a slider adjustment in the app. Transparency mode does a good job of letting you hear other people and sounds, but your own voice remains a tad muffled. Calling on the Elite 4 Active, as on most Jabra earbuds, is very good. Your voice comes through very clearly and the mix seem to have no problem keeping unwanted background noises from overwhelming your conversations. While testing them, I came across a bit of wind, not a ton mind you, but it barely registered on my recordings. You can choose to turn on side tone, and this lets you hear your own voice more clearly, which reduces the fatigue involved in some earbud calls. How much battery life do you need in a set of true wireless earbuds? I'd argue that more is always better but the Elite 4 Actives claim 7 hours of playtime per charge, plus the additional 3 charges in the charging case should be plenty. If you want even more time, Jabra says you'll get 8.5 hours with ANC off, and a total of 34 hours with the case. In testing, with ANC on and volume set to 50%, I got closer to 6 hours of use, but that's still pretty decent. A fast charge feature gives you an extra hour of use for 10 minutes of charging. Thanks for watching this video. If you think this video is useful, then please give a like in this video and share with others. Bye for now.